Hello everyone, it's Mish here, and welcome to my channel. If you're new, uh, thank you for stopping by, and if you are returning, I thank you so much. Uh, it is it is so lovely to get to know some of you and just to feel like it's a little bit of a community. Today, um, today's video, we'll be doing another page in the Marguerite Miller Collage uh, 2024. This is week 16. I am using a book that I picked up at the thrift store. I love the feel of it. Um, I have thinned out some papers. So what I did is I went along to the signatures and there's quite a few signatures here. And I tried to find sort of the middle of a signature where you can see the binding there. And I gently just cut that away and pulled that out um, just because I know it's gonna start to get thicker and I just want like an even distribution you can already see that it's starting to get a little bit fat but um so yeah so if you haven't seen the other collage videos i do have a playlist which is i think it's marguerite miller 2024 uh, when we've gone over um some of these collages that i absolutely love i love getting the book out and uh looking through it of an of an evening and that's why i'm doing the collage to share with you and to have some craft time together um, but also so that I can create something that I just really love looking through. Um, so week 16, we have a plan card either side, cursive writing, an image with two shades of green, something representing aviation, a piece of a restaurant menu, and bonus is a star. So I'm not going to use the restaurant menu. Um, I just couldn't find something and we haven't been out and about late, lately out to eat or take away. So... Yeah, so I'm just going to uh, skip that one. I'm going to start just by putting down some background images um, on, just trying to think. So this one here is just shades of green. Uh, there is some pink there too, but I just wanted to put this one down. I'm going to do, the color palette for this one is largely going to be pink and green. I love pink and green together. Um, I'm just creating a little pocket here for my prompt. I just, you know, some people, you know, aren't worried about the prompt, but I kind of like it so that later on, if I just want to look back and remember what the prompts were, that I have it uh, right to hand within the, within the layout. So I'm not exactly sure where this is going, but it's down now. And then I have one at the bottom here as well. I don't think this is directional, but we'll get that down. It is, today is April, I'm gonna say 13th, it's Saturday. This will be posted tomorrow. And I've worked so much that, and I'm not complaining, I love working and you know it's good to pay the bills. But sometimes, um, it's always a payout. It's always a payout, either time or money. Um, and right now, it's just work. So for my playing card, I had just been playing with the playing cards. I've done some altered ones. Um, the way that these ones have been, I've been kind of playing with these is that I put down a little bit of gesso, just a, a wee bit. Well, first I sand it. So I take my, just a little piece of sanding paper, which I have in this little box somewhere. Anyway, here, it's just a fine sanding paper. I scuff it up a bit, not a lot. I, I still wanna be able to see. And then I just do a little bit of gesso. Then I take my tape runner and I just lay the tape run runner down and I put, put some kind of book page whether it's a dictionary or just a reading book, I put it down so it's nice and firm and then I try to tear it off and it makes a lovely edge, edge around it. So I kind of like that. So that's kind of like the base. And then I've been, today I just wanted to get out a bunch of my napkins as I really haven't been playing with napkins much. So I've taken the napkin apart and taken off the two white layers uh, on the bottom and I just, so I've just separated, if you're not, if you're new to this, I've separated the white from just the top bit. And I, I just took some glue stick, glued down uh, the, the napkin image. 
and then played with various things. I've been seeing a lot on Instagram that the the, the uh, drywall tape is, is making a comeback. Um, I've had this tape probably for, I'm going to say, 12 years. I got it when I was building my house. My dad helped me build a house. Uh, this roll was <laughs> really fat. Uh, so over the years, I've used it for various things. But I've been seeing it lately, so I just pulled it out. So this one here in the background, you can kind of see that texture. It, it's quite nice. Um, so um, I either put the napkin down or I put the tape down first. So this one here, I put the tape down first, then the napkin over top, top of it. And then I took my roller um, so that it really, you don't need a roller. You can just take a, a pen or something and rolled it just so that that becomes raised. So you have a bit of texture in the background. Uh, with this one here, I layered a number of napkins. So there's one, two, three napkins on this one. Um, there's there's also the drywall tape. Um, and then I just took a little bit of either pink uh, acrylic paint or just uh, white acrylic paint and just daubed it here and there on the card. I did a little bit of um, uh, stamping on it, uh, on this one. And I had laid this one down, but I kind of thought it was, I think it worked well. And I loved this one, but the reason that I chose the one that I did, this one here, is because it's more the pink palette, plus number three is my lucky number, my favorite number, plus it had a bird, which I felt that a bird kind of represents, in a way, aviation, so I kind of thought, you know, flight and bird. And then when I was kind of playing around, it didn't really stand out as much as I would have liked it. So I kind of thought I would do a mat or layer and then just kind of have it stand out a little bit more. You don't really need to do that. And I tried this side, but I didn't like... That looked more like just chevron, a chevron pattern, which for this, I really didn't like it. And this I image, again, is uh, an image with two shades of green. Actually, there's more shades of green. Um, and I'm just trying to think... Do I like it with or without? You know what? I can't quite decide on that one, so I'm just going to leave that. The other thing I've been doing in the e evening, my brain's just a bit tired from working, and I just ha haven't had the creativity to come into the craft room. So I thought I would get out my doodle pad and just do some uh, wreaths. And the way that I do my wreaths is I take a compass and lightly do a circle, but you could, you know, if you had a something round like this, just draw just very lightly and then I just kind of doodle leaves leaves around it um, I then this morning I scanned the, this one just because I wanted to keep what was in my doodle pad in my doodle pad and I have a couple wreaths so I've got this one which I really liked and then for my something that represents a aviation I have a hot air balloon when I looked up the definition, it seemed to fit the, the definition of aviation, so I thought that that's what my image was going to be, and I kind of thought I could layer the reef in behind there, and that's why I was thinking that it would work maybe if I put that on that side there. I think I'm liking that better. So I think I was going to put that, I was going to do it the opposite way. But it doesn't really matter. And then, therefore, I would want the backing. Yeah. So I'm going to just layer this onto the little frame. The way I did it was I just laid it down and just made it a little bit bigger than my image. So I'll get that down. It's about an eighth of an inch on each side, I think. It's not much more. Okay. And then, so that can kind of go over there and hide that text and then that will go there and then I had another one of these and my cursive writing is I wrote on the cursive writing I don't know if you can see the lined the practice paper that I remember doing this in in school it's got the solid line and then a little dotted line so I just took one of the stencils that I had, um, and this stencil is years old, um, and I'm I'm saying years like, oh, 30 years old. The the stencil I had it when I in my scrapbook days, but I thought that I would just use 
the, the um, little image around it and then write a little saying. So my saying is an ode to aviation. It's one of my favorite. I used to be in Air Cadets when I was um, in high school and I just loved this high flight by uh, John G Gillespie McGee. So I thought that I would write just the first little bit. Oh, I have slipped the surly bonds of earth. I just love that. So, and then the other, I have another wreath that I, that I drew and I just love the green and pinks of it. So how are we going to, because I think initially I wanted that over on that side, but it's never going to lift up now. I could pull that up. I just want to hide that there. Oh, well, I could, I could change the images like so. And then that would kind of more go with that. And then this would be more things that fly in the sky. Okay. I'm kind of, I'm kind of liking that. Sometimes we have to adapt our expectations and I don't care if some of that slips through and then, yeah, I, I think that would work. So I'm just going to tack that down first. And then if I want to put something underneath it, I can. And I like the spacing there. And then we'll put that down. Now, the reason I didn't cut out the center of this is that I just wanted it to be a little bit different than this one. And I know the wreaths are both on the same side, but it doesn't really matter. And I'll just get this one down. I want to offset that a little bit and make room for that. Okay. Okay, and then get this down. And of course, it runs out. Do I have one here? Make sure that's right side up. And I chose this image too because of the various shades of green. So this one here, I have some pink little, I don't know, little uh, flowers. They're not flowers, but little buds, I guess we'd call them. So I want that to go about there, I think. So I'll just get this down first. It's pouring rain today and about 10 degrees. So I think spring is definitely on its way. It's a nice April. I, I like the, the mild rainy weather because it, um, I can have the windows open. I do t tend to have a little bit of light or heat on. My mother used to always say, I'm not heating the whole outdoors, but it's nice to have the fresh air, even though it may mean to have the heat on a little bit. Okay, so that's kind of the basic um, layout. I'm happy with that. So then I took my star punch, because stars are part of the prompts and I just had some star punch I think I got those at Michael's probably with a with a percent off coupon and I thought that they would just work well to add a little bit of something something around the page I really liked the I thought that col the colors really matched well Let's pull that down a little bit, get in frame. Okay. You can hear Chester. Hi, Chester. I know you have only eaten three times today. He, uh, he likes to eat as Chester. He's typical Garfield. I'm kind of liking how, how that is. Okay. So then I did also want to do a few more things. So I'm kind of thinking, Kind of thinking I like I like uh, I like the layout. I'm just wondering maybe that up there. Okay, I, th I think that's good. So I think for these ones, I am gonna 
glue them down. You're going to have to wait, Chester, till I'm done. Yeah, I know. It's a sad life. He has a never-ending pit of a appetite. You get up in the morning and he... I clean the litter box and then give him some wet food and then and dry food and then he has to go in the bathroom in the bathtub and have a drink out of the tap but he has a water fountain so he drinks out of that too then he needs cuddles and if any or all of those things do not happen immediately there's it just creates chaos in his world and he's very vocal. He's the most vocal animal I've ever come across. He'll have, me and him and I will have big long conversations. Okay, so that's the star. And then I wanted to add a little bit of washi because I just felt that it would be nice to add just a little bit around the edges just as a little bit of a border maybe and I haven't used my washi for a while and it was getting lonely sitting up on the shelf so when I started today I thought oh I'm gonna get that washi out and we'll just tack this down a little better now that I'm relatively happy where things where things are going I'm really enjoying just sitting doing doodles and I never really thought to scan them before. But when I was doing this, I thought, well, what if I cut up the, my original and then something happens and I, I don't really like it. So, so hence, I scanned it. Now I'm happy because I can manipulate it and maybe make some journal cards or tags on the computer. Okay, so <clears throat> I've picked a few things. I picked a couple florals with a couple shades of green, and I really love this. This one here I got from the washi shop, and I know that I can just tear this, but sometimes I just like it neater. That's just me. So we'll get that done, and I thought that this kind of matched a little bit the, the napkin. So I just kind of thought that we could put that kind of on the edges and maybe at the top there. So then a couple of the other ones that I pulled out, I did pull out some, a feathered one. I think I got this at the washi shop too, as I thought it went well with the bird and I, I kind of liked it. And there was this nice green feather here. Well, it has shades of green. There's blue and gray one too, but. So I thought I could put that right on the, on the card itself. And then I have this one, but I think that's too thick. I've got a little bit of sparkle and some really tiny ones. And then I had a leaf pattern that was really similar to what was on that uh, background paper there already. So, I, so we cut off there, but I had laid a, just a little piece there. And I was just saying that I've been just holding off this morning, going over to Tim Hortons to get a coffee, as is sort of my Saturday treat for myself. Okay, and I kind of liked that, how that pink shows up a little bit. I wanted something along the side there, and I'm thinking this, because we've got some kind of pinks around the page, so it'd be nice to pull it a little bit over. And this I've had a long time. It's one of my favorite ones. Uh, I might have got this at Michael's, I think, way back. And I like the gold, the shiny of the, the gold foil on it. I really love that one. I thought that that would look good there. And then maybe a little something down there. How about uh, travel, ex 
explore, travel. Nah, I don't really think. I think this is more of a nature-y one. And this one's a bit thicker one, but we'll go with it. And put that down here too. It's a different. It's a different one than that one. And then maybe just like a little skinny one. So I have some gold and some greens as far as the skinny goes and some sparkle. I think I might like some gold and maybe put a little bit of green on top of it. Yeah, I think that really makes it stand out. I think that's nice. And you got a little bit of gold there and a little bit of gold there. Okay. So I also wanted, kind of on the a aviation theme, is, you know, butterflies fly. They may not fly way up to heaven or outer space, but I thought that would look good there and have that little butterfly there. And then I wanted, I've got ones that are, um, which would fit an image with two shades of green because this butterfly definitely has shades of green and he's got all kinds of doodads going on here to make him to make him fly a little bit so I liked that and then I just wanted something kind of up here or maybe sitting on the sitting on the um, the balloon No, well, I think I'll just go with this. It's kind of orangey, but I'm okay with that. And then that can sit there. Oh, I like that. Um, okay, so then I just wanted to do a little bit of stamping, I think. Although it's come together so nicely, I'm not really sure I want to do stamping. I My intent was I had found this Tim Holtz stamp that I had in my stash for a long time. And I kind of was going to put sort of at the bottom, enjoy the journey. Or maybe I could put it like there. Might look nice. Kind of like it on that film so that it's transparent. But I could just stamp it trans so that it would give the same effect. Well, let's, let's see what happens. I haven't used these stamps in a long time. I don't even know if you can still get them. So I am going to use a stamp and block for this one, and that's, uh, I'm not sure how well that would stamp there. But let's get out my old stamp pad, and we'll get it all inked up. I do stamp off, because I want it nice and juicy, so that it comes out. i got to re-ink my stamp pad. I did buy myself a new one here ages ago. I don't even know where it is. And this is just archival ink. It's getting there. I could go, because I think I need to re-ink that. I could try my stays on. Stays on is good for plastic and glossy surfaces. It's good if you want to use watercolors with it it doesn't tend to run and it leaves a lovely really dark image so I want it really dark I think maybe that's the effect no well I'm doing one more and that's it it's going down let's see excuse my head if it gets in the way yeah I like that Turned out okay. It's not going to be perfect because there's a little lip on each side. But I think you can make out what, what it says. So I like that. And I think I'm leaving it at that because I think that if I... I do love to stamp, as you can tell from um, some of my past. Here I've done quite a bit of stamping. Here I've done a lot of stamping. Um, here I've done a lot of stamping so but I'm really liking how that has turned out so I'm gonna leave it from there I've got the playing card I have 
cursive writing, uh, some shades of green, aviation, and a bonus is the star. So I'm gonna put my little prompt away. And just before we go, I just want to um, show, just thank um, some people for some uh, happy mail. So I have done a postcard card exchange um, with some of you, and I just received Pam's in the mail uh, that she collaged herself, and that's over at Tattered P Paper and Lace. So I, I'm loving that. And then uh, Donna, thank you so much for your card um, and your lovely uh, image and the cards of Niagara Falls. Um, so thank you so much. And um, if you did like this video, I'd love for you to give me a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, until we meet again, I hope you stay safe and well and bye for now.